Same. Got one off the bottom. Nice. Awesome. Did I get one off the bus? I got a big old catfish. You got something big, don't you? I did. <laughs> I thought I was hung. Yeah, I bet you fish. got a big drum. I did. I bet you got a big you drum. You got a I can't even move him. We call that a redfish. A redfish? Uh-oh. definitely got a fish, don't you? Yeah. It's well, this might make our show. Be a, be a big, a big drum or a big catfish, one or two. <laughs> We're going to chase them down, though. Okay. <laughs> There he is. Is that him right there? Oh yeah, that's yeah, him. Yeah, there he is right there. Boy, that sunrise never gets old, does it? I'm sorry. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, Kevin McCarley. How are you doing? Doing fine, buddy. Doing where, fine. Where have you brought me? This place is absolutely gorgeous. We are in Decatur, Alabama. Yeah. We're on the Tennessee River. Okay. And we have pulled into a feeder creek. It's called Flint Creek. Yeah. Off of the uh, Tennessee River here in North Alabama. We'll see if we can pull up some of these stumps, fire a boat down, do some casting. If they don't bite casting, we're going to go in a long walk. Okay, all right. But well, this is kind of the first time I think I've ever fished for crappie where there's a bit of a current. Oh, there's quite a bit of current in here right now. Yeah. Uh, does it take a little bit of skill to adjust for that? It does take a little bit. The power poles, of course, help out quite a bit. You can sit that boat still. Yeah. Uh, if you don't have them, it's kind of a little bit of a struggle. Yeah. You know, we might even have to add some weight to our jigs today just to keep get them down. down, get it down to the fish yeah. with a quick enough pace. So, uh, you know, I'm anticipating a good day and uh, should be a lot of fish in here. It's pre-spawn. Um, so hopefully we'll catch some big old fat females. Man, today. that sounds like fun. So, hey, speaking of boats, tell me a little bit about this boat. This is absolutely probably the smoothest ride I've ever been on. Yeah, it, I mean, it was, it was literally like riding a stick of butter. It's just that's so that's smooth. Butter, baby, smooth. No, yeah. It's a uh, 05 Rangers yeah. at 21. This is an 05? Uh, yes, sir. 05. Oh, yeah. You take good care of your stuff, don't you? Yeah, I got a good deal on it. Um, it's kind of funny, a funny story, though. The first day I bought it, brought it out here, I got from the boat ramp to the interstate bridge, and the motor blew up. Oh, you so you serious? never know what you're getting, but you know. Now, <laughs> I sent it to a guy in Chatworth, Georgia, who specializes in the Yamahas, and yeah. uh, he took care of me. And uh, at least now I know what I got. Yeah, it's yeah. Been a good one since. So beautiful uh, boat. I love it. We've got a good Minn Kota trolling motor, it looks like there, and we are coming up uh, on an area where you say there's some brush and stuff. Is that yes, correct? Sir. We should have some stumps coming up. We're going to have some stake beds that uh, myself and other people have put out in this creek. But as you can see here, we've got a deeper creek channel. And on the flats here, we've got a lot of stumps. Yeah. This place is littered with stumps. So that's what we're going to concentrate on is these fish that are holding to that. And if they're not on those, we're going to get out and look for them out roaming in this channel. All right. So it's basically pre-spawn and uh, there'll be fish staging and there'll be fish on the, uh, the actual cover that we'll be fishing. Trying to get a break from the current and yes, ambush bait fish, right? Absolutely. What, right. Uh, what kind of bait fish do they have in this lake it's slash nice. river system? Gizzard Chad. Gizzard Chad? Gizzard. So... Gizzard. Probably going to be using a little therapist color. Yes, sir. We'll a be using little therapist. Purple. That's right. We're going to have a purple head. Um, be using therapist. Uh, also be using some of my signature series baits. Okay. Uh, K-Mac bogey fry. Okay. I've had a lot of lot of luck in it. It's yeah. uh, it's basically kind of like a two-inch baby shad, Bobby Garland. But, okay. Um, 
It's made by a gentleman out of Tennessee. It's Pro Z Baits. Pro Z Baits. And uh, he asked me to come on board with him a little over a year ago. Okay. To launch this uh, new crappie line that he had. He's mostly been a, a bass guy. Yeah. But, uh, it's worked out really good. They're selling really well in Gunnersville, and okay. they're starting to make their way this way on the river system. So nice. Um, it's been a good bait for me. I've caught fish everywhere from uh, from Grenada to yeah. here. Uh, you know, great bait. Good deal. And I know you're friends with uh, Blake, right? Yes, At sir. I Hold Jigs. Yes, sir. I'm an I Hold Jig guy, man. That's, yeah. all, I, that's oh. all I run. Is I hold look at that. That's I, I think I see some some culprits there yes sir those look pretty good too <laughs> all right enough let's talking get let's get to fish let's get to fish and see if we can put some in the boat here oh oh we got one got him got him that's, that's a nice that's, that's a good, good one. one too nice black crappie black. oh he's breaking every rod we have in the boat you didn't tell me these crappie were so mean oh, kevin <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. And he choked it. Thing, yes, though. he did. He wanted that. Yeah, he did. And he's seen it. He come after it. Well, it's nice to know that they got the right attitude holding up oh, to that yeah. camera. Though. Pretty, pretty black crappie here on Wheeler. Yeah. Well, he choked that. Well, he did choke that eye hole, Jig. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We got one. We on the board. Woohoo! <laughs> Maybe it's feeding time. It might be feeding time. All right. How do you like to cook them crappie? Man, I'm a, I'm an old school salt and pepper, cornmeal. Yeah. Prime. Just super easy. You huh? know. Um, Any particular oil you like to use? Um, I use uh, I usually use peanut oil. Peanut oil. Yeah. Right. That's what I like. And uh, I do too. I like peanut oil. Makes them crispier. Right? It does. And I'm a guy. I guess my dad got me like this. Get that grease really, really hot. Mm -hmm. Where the cur them tails curl up. Oh yeah, yeah. Nice and crispy. And, uh, I'm getting hungry. Well, I know. <laughs> we didn't even make them biscuits. Did no, we? we got some biscuits back there. <laughs> but now we're on. Now we're now, fired up. It only takes one fish to get you That's fired right. up, don't it? Oh, you got, got him. Got him. Yeah, man. Yeah, look at that. There we go. Man, you're starting to put on the clinic. Figure out where they at. Yeah, that's a good fish. He's just a good two pounder. He's a uh, car. Yeah. He's still rolling there. Yeah, and so with the current going, you, you took the liberty of putting a little bit uh, of uh, a little weight on a there. A little weight on there to get it down a little faster. There's, there's several fish down there. Looking around that little steak bed. Yeah. Never knew how many fish ran from the boat until I got a live scope. Yeah. I think it's uh, trying to be a little stealthy. It's so important. It is. Tough so to get they... kids jumping around on the boat. <laughs> yeah, Remember right. when your dad used to always say, be quiet? Yeah. And you thought yeah. he was crazy? I know. And these, now you these, see why. These fish can't hear us. Yes. And uh, it does affect them big time. First got my live scope, I was still mainly spider rigging. Yeah. Man, just what a tool for spider rigging too. You know, it's not just for one polling, you know, if you spider rig, you can really utilize that live scope. Yeah. See where those fish are at, ease up to them. And I've had a lot of fish riding along, looking at my bait, yeah. reach up there and just twitch that line a little bit, give them just a little action. Boom, They'll, they'll yeah. snatch it up, you know. The behaviors and the patterns that you can derive from this crazy live scope that's right that's really right. help you become a better fisherman they do i know some people are anti-live scope but you know my take on that is you know what are deer hunters doing utilizing a cellular not just a trail camera but a cellular trail camera yeah that's true. here in alabama you can feed yeah my buddy killed one of his biggest deer this year he was sitting at the house camera went off yeah he got in the truck went down there and killed the deer nice so i mean you know you can't put stop that in, technology you can't stop technology you might as well embrace it and roll with it yeah and, you know there's going to be haters for everything and you just gotta i don't you know. know of any field on the planet 
too much where technology maybe ruined something. You know what I right, mean? It, right. It's I always designed to make something better, more efficient. And me as a fisherman, you know, used to when I would go out spider rig, man, every fish you catch going in the box. Yeah. Now, now you're, you're you're whimsical about catching. That's right. Oh, I caught one. Yeah, you I throw caught, it back. That's right. That's right. A lot of times I I, I don't even keep them usually. I don't. Know. I don't. Uh, I only now whenever I have a fish fry, I have to schedule a fishing trip. You know, so that you can go because I don't wanna, even keep them in the freezer. I don't do want to have them in the freezer. That's they right. taste better fresh. That's right. I'm the same way. Yeah, right there's there. some right there on that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's money show. Come on. Come on. Here he comes. Here he comes. Boom. Got it. Nice baby. That's nice. A good one too. Yes sir. Nice. He's not, he's not that good. Why should he look bigger than that? He dude? did look bigger than that. I think his friend that, that passed on it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Woohoo! What's the, what's the size limit here? Well, you actually can keep nine inches. Oh, um, that's about so 11. He, he's definitely a keeper, but you know, we try not to keep. You don't want to keep him? Yeah, I'll keep him. Yeah, yeah. You want to give a shout out to the wife or anything? Ah, oh, Renee McCarley. Yeah. One that lets me do what I love to do. Keep things straight all the time when I'm out traveling. Uh, I'm blessed. Day after Valentine's Day, happy you know, Valentine's yes, Day. Yes, happy Valentine's Day. We had a great dinner last night. Good time. Yeah. She's, uh, she's special. Nice. Absolutely. She's, uh, They saved me in some ways and uh, yeah. a great influence. A great mother to my kids, so couldn't ask for a better woman. Proud to have you, babe. Congratulations, Renee. I don't know. Good one. Say congratulations. Oh yeah, she knows she's got it. Thank you. <laughs> thank, thank you, Renee. Thanks, that's right. Thank, <laughs> thank you. you. There you go. Son, he's a 27 year old hard working young man. My daughter's 19. She's yeah. got her job as a dental hygienist working toward that. You know, she's yeah. in training, of course. Um, I couldn't be What's up? more blessed with two great kids, that's for sure. I don't know how I got so lucky as bad as I was. Yeah. You know, that's what they supposed to be. I was so bad when I was younger that I got three girls. <laughs> I, I actually, I got two girls, and I'm like, come on, please, Lord, give me a boy. So we tried a different position, and I got twins, boy-girl twins. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> got what you was asking for, didn't you? <laughs> uh, another girl. <laughs> And I love them all. Man, I got oh. I got fortunate. My son, he was, you know, great. He was a little football yeah. player and baseball player and did really well with that. And, uh, you know, he's, uh, he's out. He uh, runs a dirt works company, basically landscaping. Yeah. Does really well for himself. Good. He married the teacher up here at the school. Yeah. Cheer coach. I bet. They live pretty close, so that's that's actually nice to have him close, you know. You rarely see an ugly cheerleader. <laughs> and when you do, you're wondering, like, how'd she get on the team? That was probably there, not air that. <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> Mondo, baby, this. Mondo. <laughs> yes, Woo, sir. That's, that's a, what we's looking for right there, brother. That's a YouTube fish. That fish won't be on YouTube. That's what we's looking for there right go, there, brother. Nicely done. Definitely a probably a one eight. 
Yeah, good fish. That's right a there. tournament fish there. Yes, huh? that's one you look for in that tournament. All right, where's the live one? Uh, right side. Oh, here he comes. He's launching on. Got it, got it. That's another fish. Yeah, another good one right there. Oh, yeah. A little flurry here, baby. <laughs> Another Mondo. That giant fish. Another good fish. Kevin McCarley putting on a clinic. What is it about crappie fishing tournaments? What What's that thrill, man? It's the I don't competition. Know. It's, it's the competition. And the camaraderie. Everybody's Com friendly. That, that's probably the biggest part of it for me. Yeah. You know, I've met some of the best people crappie fishing. Absolutely. You know, in these tournaments. Um, yeah. I remember the first time I met Ronnie and Steve. Oh, yeah. You know, I just wanted to go up and, and meet them. Yeah, me too. And man, they acted like they'd known me my whole life. Uh-huh. Just, I mean. Yeah. And probably no, the no highlight. No errors about them. Highlight of my tournament career was getting to knock them out of the hot seat at Gunnersville. Oh, my gosh. I mean, you know, that meant a lot to me. Personally, that you know, a lot to you know, anybody they're, they're my idols, you yeah. Know? So, it, you know, that was that was really huge for me. It's to really be able cool to do when that. you get to meet your idols. Yeah, I mean, they uh, and, and they live up to all your expectations. Absolutely, you know what I mean. Absolutely, that's, absolutely. That's, that's uh, good. those guys are. I don't know. They've been one of the biggest, I guess, promoters of this board and influencers for people, and, and just all around great guys. Just all around good guys. That's yeah. right. That's right. And they're kind of like you. They. have Grown up doing it on their home lake of right. uh, uh, real foot. Real foot, yeah. Put it on him, Kevin. Oh, it's over. It's over, Grover. Here he comes. Here he comes. He got it. Did you get it? You got yeah, it. Got him at time. Oh, yeah. yeah. What's that another? Good fish. Woo! Right. Man! Whoa. <laughs> I think we were about to give up. We were about to give up. You just never care. Never care. give up. <laughs> never know when they're going to turn on, oh, baby. Never give up. I almost lost the boat. Pretty fish. Pretty wheeler fish. Having a lot of fun. Having a lot of fun right here. I lure them into the Bates Motel and you murder them. Sound good? <laughs> yeah. Oh, here he comes. Get ready to murder. Psycho. Whatever this is, I don't get think it's a, if it's a crappie, it's a, it's a crappie. Oh, it's a drum. Oh, dang it. Folks, this is what we call oh. a North Alabama redfish. I thought it was a big crappie, but he, <laughs> I thought it was a... after I said the hook, he took <laughs> off, and I knew it was, I thought it was a giant crappie, too. Show it to the camera. Yeah. Just giggle. Can't always catch big crappie. You got to get them junkers in there, too, now. Boy, it rose like a crappie. I was excited. Plus, we had the whole psycho thing working. Yeah, yeah. That was going to make a good show. I'll put it in there. That's still a fish. Fish is a fish. That's right. That's right. He's going back in. He was down in the middle of that thing. There he is. He's sitting right there in the mud right there on the outside edge of it. He had a hold of it. I thought I was holding. Oh, 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 there's oh, another. Oh, that, yeah, there's another. God, I should be going right over it. Yeah, there you go. Perfect, dude. That's going to be. That's him. Got, Got it. it. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Got it. <laughs> He's a what? Get the net. Get the net. Get the net. <laughs> that cannot be the same fish. No, we just it's saw. not the same that fish. That is not the same fish. <laughs> we just saw. Oh, there he, is. there he is. There he is. <laughs> Kevin, man, I've enjoyed my company with you. You are definitely uh, a pretty cool individual not to give up. I've enjoyed it, bud. And you, you kept it. your cool. Even when we weren't catching any, you're like, you didn't panic. Can't. You, you know, I would I would have panicked. I'd be like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> oh, man, hold on. You know, it's, uh, we're not done. We're not now. done quite yet. That's that thing. But uh, man, thank you for taking time out of your day. Hey man, it's been my pleasure, Dave. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. Now don't give up. This outro, we can catch a fish during the Let's outro. Do that. Right here. 
and that, that one come up out of the middle of that thing. Yeah, I, mean, I didn't he was see him. Hit. You could not see him no. in there. And he's back in there. I think he is too. I think he's in the very bottom of it there, it looks like, don't it? Uh -huh. Some of these fish loose. That's a little male from the Oh, that's a that's dandy. A good, good fish here. Yeah. 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 There's a better one there. -hoo -hoo. That's one I caught, right? I believe it. No, <laughs> you caught all the good ones. That's awesome. There's still these are big oh, yeah. ones. That's the black one. That's, That's the first one we fish. caught. Yes, sir. Black fish, black whites. Beautiful. We're not putting a little mass together here. Yeah. Six. Yeah. Ah, oh, here comes a good one. Oh, oh yeah, there's my a Hold on to right that. There. Hold on to that one. Smile a little bit. That'll be our thumbnail. All right, got it. And old little baby love. Little baby love. Good job, Kevin and Carly. Thank you, just shows not to give up. That's right. And it just shows how difficult the crappie puzzle can be at times. That's absolutely And, and you never really know where no, they're going to be. No, just, I mean, it, when you think you got it figured out, you don't. You don't. You don't. You and that's what, we, stick with that's what we ran into today. Yeah. And we stuck with it. We went some different places, tried some different techniques. We're going to do a casting show and it ended up being kind of a, uh, a long, long or yeah. single pole that's show. Right. That's but right. man, I had fun. Just having a dead stick them. Thank you, my friend. Be. Thank you, my friend. I enjoyed it. Yeah, bro. man. That's, I'm, so, I'll be back. I'll be back. Well, I'll look forward to it, man. We will definitely get on them. Thank you, Kevin. Yes, sir. God man. bless. I had, a, I had a blast today. Yeah, that was fun. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching, too. We appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching Fish Eat Live. Our mission is to demonstrate the benefits of the Fish Eat Live lifestyle. We look forward to educating, entertaining, and attracting you to the healthy lifestyle of the great outdoors. We're definitely going to have some wholesome family fun on the water every Sunday at 6 p.m. So hit that subscription and that notification bell because we want you to come be a part of this.